The column A or digitized column tool from the graphics toolbar are ideal for creating columns of stitching that have a varying width and a turning shape. The most common stitch type would be satin for columns that vary in width from say 1mm to a maximum of around 8 or 9mm. The name column gives away the digitizing method to a degree. We have to digitize either side of the column as we work along the length of the shape. I will begin with two clicks. It doesn't matter whether they're left or right. Out of habit, I always begin with two left clicks, followed by two right clicks to begin the curve. Now two more clicks, this time left clicks, then all right clicks to the end of the object. The sequence of clicks is important. Side one, then side two, side one, side two. Keep the clicks on either side of the column opposite each other as this will determine the stitch angle. The distance between these clicks determines the width of the column. It is good practice to make the shape with as few clicks as possible to get the cleanest shape and smoothest curves. Finish the shape by hitting the return or enter key. If you do not put in enough nodes, you can always come back and add nodes later, or move those that are out of place. To do this, select the reshape tool. Now add or remove nodes as required to refine the shape. Right click on the vector line to add a pair of curved nodes, then drag them both into place. The lines running through the shape nodes are stitch angles and can be adjusted if required to make a nice even flow of stitches around the curve, but correctly placed nodes will usually not require this adjustment. I'll take the lazy man's way out here and use the mirror merge tool to create the other horn. Now for the letter. This will be done in two pieces. This time I will use the digitized column tool to show the tools are the same. Notice, when creating the curve, the shape does not conform until the next two nodes have been input. Again, finish with a return. Once you are happy with the shape of the first day, right click to duplicate and drag to create the second A, select once again, right click and drag across to make the third A. Thank you for watching. Visit our website for more information.